Welcome back to the No Like Do List. Today in this episode, I'll be doing an archetype overview for ritual beasts. So the ritual beast archetype com is comprised of the ritual beast tamo monsters, um, the spiritual beasts, and Winda counts as both because her name is spiritual beast tamo Winda, and then the extra deck ultai monsters. Um, basically how it works is you have a tamo out and a uh, spiritual beast, and both of the, the materials you banish to make the um, ultai monster. Then, as a quick effect, the ultai monster can basically tag out or tony itself to the extra deck to um, special summon from um, the banish zone uh, those two materials one um, ritual beast tamer and one spiritual beast. And since it's a quick effect, you can do it on your opponent's turn. It's not a once per turn, but all of the monsters can only be special summoned once per turn. So that's basically how it functions. Um, to start off, there is Ritual which, which Beast Tamer Eldor. It's a wind level 2 psychic effect monster. 200 attack, um, 1000 defense. His effect is after you normal summon this code, you can normal summon one Ritual Beast monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal summon set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. And then you can only special summon with your beast team or elder once per turn. Um, he is your main starter card. You get him out and then one other with your beast. Then you can go into your extra deck. With your beast team or win. win um, a wind level 3 psychic effect monster. Um, 1500 attack, 1000 defense. Um, the effect reads, if this card is normal summoned, you can target one of your banished which uh, will beast monsters special summon it. Uh, this is great because you're always banishing stuff with this, your deck, so you can get more stuff on the field and you can get things back. Uh, which will beast tame or lower? A wind level one psychic effect monster, a hundred attack, two thousand defense. The effect reads: When this card is normal summoned, you can target one which will beast monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Um, so you can get things back from your graveyard with this code. Um, Ritual Beast Tamor Zephyrphilica, a wind level 3 psychic pendulum effect monster. Um, pendulum scales are 1, and 1000 attack, 1500 defense. Pendulum effect is you cannot pendulum summon monsters um, except Ritual Beast and Zephyr monsters. This effect cannot be negated. Um, normally you won't be pendulum summoning with this deck. Um, so only in, uh, this is used more to pendulum summon in the, the Zephyr decks rather than, um, Ritual Beast decks. Um, effect is when this code is normal or pendulum summon, you can target one Ritual Beast or Zephyr monster in your graveyard, except Ritual Beast Tame or Zephyr Pilica, special summon it, but destroy it during the end phase. Um, the destruction doesn't matter too much because you'll be usually fusion or link summoning anyway. With the material, uh, this kind of acts like lower, but um, it's usually used in decks as just another name because um, lower doesn't, of course, go to the extra deck when destroyed. It's not a pendulum. Um, Ritual Beast Tamor Zephyr Wendy, um, a wind level three psychic pendulum effect monster. Uh, pendulum scales are seven. Um, attack is 1500, defense is 1000. The pendulum effect is you cannot pendulum summon monsters except Ritual Beast and Zephyr monsters. This effect cannot be negated. And then uh, monster effect is when this code is normal or pendulum summoned, you can add one face of Zephyr monster from your extra deck to your hand except Ritual Beast Tamor Zephyr Wendy. Uh, this really isn't used in Ritual Beast decks too often, um, just Zephyr decks. Okay, now on to the Spiritual Beast. First off, the Spiritual Beast Tamer Winder, which is a Spiritual Beast and a Tamer. It's a Wind Level 4 Psychic Effect Monster, 1600 Attack, 1800 Defense. Um, effect reads, when this code in its owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's code by battle or code effect, you can special summon one Ritual Beast Monster from your deck or extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. 
This is great because um, if you have no bell player, you can just set it, have your opponent destroy it, and then you get anything from your anything from your main deck or extra deck. And you have some pretty strong things in your extra deck. Spiritual Beast Conahawk, a wind level four thunder effect monster, 1400 attacks, 600 defense. Effect reads, once per turn, you can banish one Ritual Beast code from your deck face up during your second standby phase after this code's activation, add that code banished by this effect to your hand. Um, so it's a gold sarcophagus on legs, but um, whoops, wait for the deck. Spiritual Beast Rampangu, uh, a wind level 4 beast effect monster, 1600 attack, 400 defense. Uh, monster effect reads, once per turn you can banish one Ritual Beast monster from your extra deck and send one Ritual Beast monster for, of the same type from your deck to a graveyard. You can only special summon Spiritual Beast Rampingu once per turn. Oh yeah, and they still have all that stipulation where you can only special summon them once per turn. Spiritual Beast Apelio. A wind level 4 pyro effect monster, 1800 attack, 200 defense. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can banish one ritual beast monster from your graveyard. For the rest of the turn, ritual beast monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Um, this is really neat because you can do it during either player's turn. You can get more things in your banish zone and get a, a little attack boost. Spiritual beast Petalfin. A Wind, level 4, aqua effect monster, 0 attack, 2,000 defense. Once per turn, you can banish a ritual beast code from your hand, then target one code your opponent controls, return it to the hand. So you can bounce, you know, any problematic code. It's great because it, you know, plays around, um, you know, uh, codes that, you know, have protection against destruction, like uh, uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus. And you're getting more things in your Banished Zone. Now onto the extra deck. There is Ritual Beast Ulti Apelio, a Wind Level 6 Pyro Fusion Effect Monster, 2600 um, attack, 400 defense. Um, must be special summoned from your extra deck by banishing the above codes you control. So for this, you need one Ritual Beast Tamer Monster and one Spiritual Beast Monster. Um, and this cannot be special summoned by other ways. You do not use polymerization. Um, if this code attacks is unaffected by other codes, effects until the end of the damage step. Um, so it's great playing around um, irritating traps. Um, and then the quick effect is you can target um, two of your banished monsters, one Ritual Beast Tamer monster and one Spiritual Beast monster. Special summon them in defense position by returning this to the extra deck. Ritual Beast Ulti Petalfin, a wind level 6 aqua fusion effect monster. 200 attack, 2000 defense. Um, it has the forced stipulation where um, it uh, must be special summoned by banishing um, one um, ritual Beast Tamer Monster and one Spiritual Beast, and it cannot be special summoned by other ways. You don't use polymerization. This cannot be destroyed by code effects. And then during either player's turn, as a quick effect, um, you can return this to the extra deck and then target those two materials, special summon them in defense position. Ritual Beast um, Ulti Conahawk, a wind level 6. Thunder Fusion Effect Monster, 1400 attack, 1600 defense. Um, it must be special summoned from the extra deck by banishing the above codes you control. So it has the same two materials, one uh, Ritual Beast Tamo and one Spiritual Beast. Uh, cannot be special summoned by other ways. Um, once per turn, you can target two of your banished Ritual Beast codes. You return them to the graveyard and then add a Ritual Beast code from your deck to your hand. Um, and then it has the tag out ability. But this code's ability is really interesting because it's a searcher for anything in your main deck. And it, since this has Ritual Beast code, you can also search out any of your traps or spells. Ritual Beast Ulti Guy Pelio, a light level 10 um, Psychic Fusion Effect Monster. 
4,200 attack, 2,100 defense. Um, this is has different materials you need to summon it. Uh, one which will beast ulti monster plus one spiritual beast code and one uh, tamer. This doesn't have the tag out ability, but um, during either player's turn, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated, you can banish a ritual beast code from your hand, negate the activation, and destroy it. Um, it only gains that effect, though, if it was special summoned in the normal way. So you can't um, use Winda to go into him. Well, you can, you just don't get that effect. Um, so it's a negate for anything. It's not a once put on. It's great code. Um, Ritual Beast Ultai Chemo Falcos, a wind psychic link effect monster. 1800 attack. It's a link two with arrows um, down left and down right. Um, to make it, you need um, two Ritual Beast monsters. Um, and just send them to graveyard, you're not banishing. Um, uh, it still has the tag out ability though. Um, and uh, Ritual Beast Monsters, this code points to, gain 600 attack and defense. Its effect is, other effect is you can banish one Ritual Beast code from your graveyard immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon one Ritual Beast monster from your hand. You can only use the effect of Ritual Beast Old Aikimo Falcus once per turn. So this gives you another normal summon, you can get your engine running, um, and you can use that effect and Eldor in the same turn because they're awarded differently. Here, um, it says you can normal summon one ritual beast monster during your main phase this turn in addition to your normal summon set, and this says immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one ritual beast monster from your hand. Um, now for the rest of the main deck lineup. There's Ritual Beast Steeds, usually what you search off of Conhawk. Um, if you control a Ritual Beast monster, destroy monsters on the field up to the number of Ritual Beast monsters you currently control. So what you can do is if you're sitting on an ulti monster on your opponent's turn, you tag out and then Steeds them for um, two. Ritual Beast Ambush, it says token one of your Ritual Beast Tamer Monsters and one of your Spiritual Beast Monsters that um, are banished and or in your graveyard. Special summon them in defense position. After this code is activated, you cannot special summon monsters except Ritual Beast Monsters for the rest of the turn. You can only activate one Ritual Beast Ambush once per turn. And since it says banished and or in grave, you could do two things in grave, two things banished, one of each. It's very versatile. Um, for the spells, there's Ritual Beast Return. It's a quick play. Um, it says banish one Ritual Beast monster from your hand, then target one of your Ritual Beast monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, special summon it. And Ritual Beast Spawn kind of works in reverse. Uh, it's a quick play. It says banish two Ritual Beast monsters you control, special summon one Ritual Beast monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So thank you for watching. Um, next week I'll be doing a deck profile for Ritual Beasts. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps support my channel. And I'll see you next time.